start to night process and also you are finding good time with the modules and uh, you have submitted your work because if you haven't then this might be your last day in the program and uh, I also hope that those who are presenting tomorrow at the, at the Young Innovator of the Month finals are also ready because it's going to be an amazing experience. And uh, also we thank those who have shared the program, uh, which is starting tomorrow with their friends uh, because uh, uh, some of you, many of your friends have joined and they are going to start their program tomorrow morning. And uh, I also thank you for, for being here at this time. This is an abnormal time for most of you, but you have endeavored to be here because you want to learn. And uh, we're going to ensure that your time is not wasted. So this is a new skill. Uh, before me just get a uh, welcome to another night. Okay. Yeah, you can just say hi, hello guys. Uh, it's such a big night. Hi, 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 hi. Nice, nice. Okay, so now today is the day when we uh, want to try to move away from. We are not moving away from scratch. But uh, we believe that you are capable of learning uh, more languages and acquiring a new skill. And we are not going, since we have limited time, we are not going to waste a lot of time doing introduction. So let's just get started. Now, we, let's see if I've started recording, okay. So by the end of this, uh, this lesson, we, are going to, sorry, sorry, let me first check who is in the waiting list. I hope you didn't invite people uh, who are not in the program. I see some names which I don't know, so I can't admit them. Uh, the names which we don't know, we can't admit them. Uh, the gadget that oh all right so let me admit earlier so thank you Kaila so when you join uh, this meeting which I've started today you have to use your names the names which I know or which we are registered because if you don't, then you may not be admitted in the class. Now, uh, so when we talk about websites, this, uh, everyone has seen a website before and uh, everyone is excited to make their own website. The way we, a few weeks ago, you were excited to make your own animations, your own games, and you made them. And then today uh, you may be ex your own website and well, today you may make a simple website. So let's see if we can keep time. Now, the objectives of this program, of this particular lesson, there are so many lessons. Uh, we may be doing two lessons per day. So for this particular one, we shall be looking at an introduction to web design, then understanding what the HTML is, and also try out making your first web page. Uh, then understand what are text editors and when you apply the skills you will gather to make a complete html page or, or website so this is also project based and when you fail to submit your project within the deadline that becomes the last day for you in the program that's how difficult the ignite uh, program is because we have made it free for you. So what you have to pay is your commitment and uh, your time. So let's start by what is HTML? Uh, 
let's uh, HTML, just like uh, we have been using Scratch before, and some of you may have known other languages like, like uh, C, C++, Java, and uh, so many others. Uh, we also have HTML. Some people consider it as language, but professionals don't really consider it a programming language because it's very easy and it doesn't have a, a lot of logic, which uh, is in other programs like C or like Python, but it's actually the best, uh, uh, the best language uh, which everyone always dreams to know because it makes things beautiful. And people like to see websites which are beautiful. Actually, 90% of websites or even 95 have been made using, uh, using HTML. So it's used to design websites and phone apps, uh, but it's used to design their interfaces, how they appear, how they look like, just like we're going to be seeing. Now, so uh, someone says, uh, I used to learn HTML and JavaScript. Nice, 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 nice. Nice if you have learned, if you've learned some HTML and JavaScript, actually they work together. But for those who will go to launch, uh, you will learn, uh, for us we don't, we use the back end, we use Python. So in the launch is when you learn Python. Python works with HTML to make now a complete website, which people, uh, which someone can interact with, which someone can store things on. You learn how to make databases through the launch, uh, the launch program. Now, so it was developed by a scientist called Tim Berners Lee in 1990, just a few. A few years ago, most of you were not born, but uh, even me, I was not born by by then. And uh, but it's recent. It it's it's so oh, it's uh, younger than the, the, this government. So uh, we would say it was uh, it was made in the last decade. So HTML is the hidden code that helps us communicate with others in the world, and uh, it helps us to access. Uh, the resources that are available on the World Wide Web. So most of you have been using WW or websites. You don't know what that is. So it's just a connection. It's just a network, an interconnection of several networks. So it connects people. It connects, brings people. You can be here and you access resources which have been published by someone in Italy through the World Wide Web. Now, HTML is that hidden code that helps you to access those resources or to be able to see uh, those resources or even communicate with, the, with all those other people. So now coding. Coding is the process, of course, of writing instructions which tell a computer what to do. Uh, but now we have done so much of that using Scratch. How about... Uh, HTML, how do we code? Do we also move blocks? Someone said uh, moving blocks, uh, they, they wanted to do, uh, they enjoy doing uh, moving blocks and they feel like if everything, if, if every learning adventure involved using blocks, it would be fun to study. But then you won't find blocks everywhere. So everything in life has rules. Just like at home, you are not supposed to uh, maybe sleep, go to bed without taking a bath. And we have rules in life that if you can't sleep without eating, so uh, you can't sleep uh, without brushing your teeth, those are rules which govern your home. But even websites, even uh, languages, programming languages, they work with the uh, rules. We saw in Scratch some of the rules were if you don't have to start with the when uh, the events blocks, your program would never work. So rules are just uh, some kind of instructions that must be followed in order for the program to work. So now when when writing HTML, we one of the rules is to add what we call tags. So I'm going to be a little bit slow and uh, 
because uh, the fundamentals are really important for us to uh, to move forward. The rest of the days are going to be easier if you understand uh, the fundamentals. Now let's get to hear from Gabriela. I see your hand is up. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, I think we lost her. But Gabriela, if you want, if you're facing network challenges, you can just type your question in the chat. Let me read out some, uh, some, some here. Uh, let me see, because I see Gabriela, I have a question. Uh, guys, they send the link where to submit. Yes, you have to check your WhatsApp or you check your your email that was sent. So let me get to hear from Gabriela. If you can, if you if you can't, then you can. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. I never saw the link where to submit the work from. We sent you the link. Check your email or your WhatsApp. Um, teacher, at what time? We sent very early, even the deadline has passed. I'm wondering why you are you're asking right now. But uh, we shall get to that later. This time is not for assignments. This is a time for, so let, I expect questions which are related to what we are learning right now. So let me get here from oh, Kyla. Yes, the question I yes, want to ask. Yeah. Uh, someone has shared the link to submit the work in the chat. Teacher, I wanted to ask that. You say that you are going to have lessons two times a day. No, one time a day. At the same time? Yeah. Okay. So let's get to hear from Kyla. Excuse me, teacher Solomon. I'm a bit confused when I have a project to submit, but like um, I am, I did not up upload it and it's on Scratch. So how, what do I do to submit the work that I've saved on Scratch? You will have to upload, upload studio. Are you part of the Coding Unlimited studio? Yes, yeah. I am I'm part of the so, studio. Once you upload it in the studio, it will be, we shall be able to assess it, assess, assess it, but you can also go to, there is a way you follow that, uh, uh, we sent you an instruction in your email, which has uh, slides which guide you how to get a link uh, from, uh, uh, get a link and share it while submitting, because some of the people who are going to, some of the mentors are not in the studio. So you have to share using that link. The, there's a part which asks, two parts ask for PowerPoint slides. Then one part asks for the yeah. link project. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, now, uh, why, are, why are we having one day? Okay, well, how about Mina and Einstein? Um, excuse me, teacher. Um, for us, because we wanted to see the link, we tried sending our, our how do you call those things? We tried sending our assignments on, on Jimmy, on your Jimmy, on the Career Innovation Society. Did you, did you receive them by any chance or, or do we just have to oh, receive I am them? not the one going to be evaluating them. So if you stand there, then they will just be, you have to resend them through the link, okay. which can be accessed by everyone. Let's get to hear from Ronel. Which part are we going to you? Which uh which part? Okay, let me put it. Which app are we going to use for M HTML? Will it be in text box? Because when when I was learning about it, there was an even if you are using HPs or Macs, you can use text text box to for HTML. We are, we shall get to that. We shall get to that. Be patient. 
Okay, now uh, let me, let's first uh, do some, I will get back to your questions at some time. Uh, then now we want to, so we say that just like everything in life has rules, languages also have rules. So when writing HTML, uh, you add tags to the text in order to uh, to create the structure. So why uh, uh, characters, just like you see, uh, this can be, this is a tag, they're just angles, either a, a less than or greater than. So these are called tags, but when they have some uh, commands or some letters ahead, or they can become now a complete HTML tag as we are going to look at. So let me, let me just turn this off. And uh, uh, Caesar is here, okay. So <clears throat> these tags tell the browser how to display the text or graphics in the document. So when you go onto, I don't expect anyone to, but when you're walking alongside the road, there are those road signs which tell you how to use the road. Or maybe if you want to go to a school, it shows you that this is a sign of a school ahead. This is a sign of a bump ahead. And this is a sign of uh, maybe we have a swamp a hundred meters ahead. So those signs, if you didn't have those signs on the road, drivers would always crash. Drivers wouldn't be able to maneuver over the roads or maybe they wouldn't over, uh, reach where they are destined to reach while traveling. But since we have those signs, since we have those rules on the roads, we, the drivers are able to successfully complete their journeys without crashing. So the tags, uh, the tags that we have in HTML, in HTML also, they are the ones which the, actually the browser follows them, the, follows them to know what you want uh, to happen. So these, uh, these uh, tags actually just create the structure of the program. So they tell the browser how to display the text or graphics how to do whatever you want to do. Now, how do we code in HTML again? So that someone, someone is already wondering whether it's text box, whether it's what. So for example, this document has a simple layout or a structure. And we see the first line here is a heading and it's somehow bold. And then we have a paragraph here with some space from the heading. And then we have a second paragraph with uh, this is, we shall be calling this, uh, this, uh, this is a list, but we have two types of lists as we are going to be looking at. We have, uh, 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 okay, we shall get to that. We shall get to, to, to the types of lists, but these are bullet lists as you see. So, now we notice that there are three major parts, a heading, two paragraphs and a bullet list. So this is a structure of this website. What is a text editor anyway? Now I come to Ronel and the team who are asking how, where do we code anyway? So this is now a point where we have to understand that uh, just like we, we were using uh, just like in Scratch, the, that part where we drag the blocks of code uh, is called the text editor. So we have all interacted with the text editor in, in Scratch. So we also want to know where do we write the blocks of code when we are using HTML? So that, that the question now comes in, what is the text editor for HTML? Because all the coding here, we don't have like scratch for HTML. So it also has its own coding environment, which is called uh, a text editor. 
So that's what we are going to be looking at. So uh, to achieve a similar layout in Scratch uh, or in a browser, you use a text editor in this case for HTML. And this is where you put all your code and the content that you want to appear on the website. Just like you see, this is the most, this is like the hello world for, for HTML, doing see, such a basic, a basic website, which we shall do today. So this is where you put all your code and content. For the PC, uh, if you're using a computer, you use uh, a Windows computer, use a notepad, you just type in search, cl you click the Windows button, then type uh, notepad. A notepad is going to be displayed. If you're using a Mac, it's called the text edit. And there are so many text editors actually. Uh, you may have text edit, you may have others which I've not mentioned. So, and also most smartphones have text editors as well. Even my phone has a text editor. So I can do coding on my phone. I can do coding on my iPad. I can do coding on my iPhone. So you won't need to install. Maybe if you fail, then we shall give you uh, other programs that you can install. So, so now in Scratch, we, we have code categories like the events, motion, control, etc. But in HTML, we create our own categories. We don't have to be spoon fed in uh, HTML because it's a little bit of an advanced language from Scratch. And we create whatever we do, we create it. We create our own blocks and we can use it multiple times. And we can also create and people can use them. So this time round, uh, instead of the when green flag is clicked, as you can see, we start with the tag HTML. So we call these tags, they are not blocks. In Scratch, we are calling them blocks. But now here you just write, uh, they, are called, uh, they are called tags. So we have an opening tag and also we end with a closing tag. The closing tag has a, a slanting or a forward slash before the HTML word. So that's it. We let's just take one minute to to type that. Everyone type in the chat the HTML tag. Let's see who types first. Let me even take it away. Let me see who types the HTML tag first in the chat. How do we start and end an HTML document? So if you have, a, uh, I want the opening and closing. I see Kyla, I see Farid, I see Josiah. Hmm? Okay, yeah, so Josiah has, has, uh, has completed it, having the opening and closing tag. So the rule is you have to have, just like Ronel has done it, and uh, also Josiah, you have to have opening and closing tags. You don't have to just put, uh, so if you have only the opening tag without the closing tag, the program will not work. Or if you have the closing tag without the opening tag, the program will not work. So to start my HTML document, I start with the, the opening tag, then my content will come in and uh, then I close after putting my content, I will close the HTML document like that. So why don't we start anyway? Now, uh, before we get started, <coughs> Let's uh, look at some common code in HTML. So just like you guys have uh, indicated in the, in the chat, uh, this uh, HTML tag, or oh, this is used for starting and closing an HTML program. So the computer or maybe uh, the system will only know that this is an HTML document if it first sees 
this. The way in Scratch, without the program seeing when green flag is clicked, when this sprite is clicked, when space is what, the program would never start because it would not understand. Just like we said, computers have their own languages. They won't understand when you have said uh, Jangu as your first word, what is that? So they also have their own rules. And now when you see the HTML tag, it knows that this is an HTML document. And if I need uh, uh, maybe interpreters for it, then I'll be interpreting from HTML. Now, just like you do in class every day, if even websites need a heading. So after opening the HTML, uh, the HTML uh, document, you, you put in the, the, the heading. What's the heading of your website? So these are the tags which open and close. You see, for every tag that we open, the closing has that slash, that forward slash, which is just like a falling, a falling, a falling number one. It's on your keyboard and even uh, on, your, on your phones keyboards, you will always see uh, the forward slash. So it's used for, uh, it, by the way, what, whatever happens, whatever you put inside here is not seen on the website, but this is like the, it's a king. It's a king tag because without it, the program can never work. So the tags that I'm introducing here today, I'm introducing the tags which the website needs. Without any of it, the program will never work. So we come to another giant here, which is called, uh, so for today we are just going to take our time and get uh, be familiar with this. So the title, uh, this is to give a name to your project. If it's called uh, uh, Simple Agric for Kids, then it has to be uh let me show you let me show you first uh, a simple website then uh, i illustrate what uh what uh, i'm talking about so okay where is my browser here nice let me share my screen then i i see also some questions so i'll have to pause and then take some of them now, when I come to my browser here, then maybe I'm going to just type in Makerere Innovation Society. So I say www.makerereinnovationsociety.org. Now it's going to search for it from the web. Now, this here, what you see, I don't know whether you're able to see, what is here, what you're seeing, you see, are you seeing when I put my cursor here, it shows uh, MIS. Uh, my, let me just share the whole screen, the entire screen, so you can maybe see clearly. This entire desktop, okay. So it, when I hover here, you'll see, uh, creating the future of children and youth. That's my title. That's the title of this of this website, <laughs> and it's what we had in the tags which have title. So this here, what is uh, now below here, is what we have as the body. Whatever you you are able to see here, down here is what is included in the body of a website. So these others are called web pages. When I want to go to maybe, let me say, when I want to go to careers here, this is a web page for careers. So this is just one page of a website, meaning a website is a collection of so many pages, just like you can have it. A website is a textbook. A website is a pamphlet. A website is your exercise book, which has so many pages. So when you put too many, when you put more than one pages together, some websites have one page. I won't disagree with that. Uh, those are basic websites. So, but when you have uh, one, more than one pages together, 
they make up what we call a website where people can get information from. So these are just uh, web, web pages on this uh, site as we are going to be seeing. So even this, pro this when you come here in the, uh, in this, this is uh, the project which uh, the, this site is being worked on currently, and you are able to see that this is a .html file, which is uh, which is loading here, as we are going to be seeing. So let me see in the chat here. Uh, is there an app for HTML? Uh, <laughs> there are apps, but uh, we are since we are advancing. We may, we may now start using editors, text editors. So start searching for a text editor. Uh, just if you're using a computer, just search for text editor or touch for search for notepad anyway. Search for notepad from your computer. If you're using a Mac, just search for text edit or if you're using a, an Apple device, search for a text edit. And if you're using a phone, I think you should search for text edit, I think text editor as well. You, you, you may be able to see it. So let me now come back. I was just showing that these are pages. So let's get to Galiana. What's your question? I see Galiana's hand. Is up. I'm teacher. I just forgot to remove it. All right. How about Michelle? Okay. About Benjamin. Benjamin, your hand is up. Tendo, Benjamin, Michael. Teacher, it's okay if I share my screen. Yes. It's okay if I share my screen. What do you want to share? Um, there's. A, I've been looking for some has someone to learn how to code on iPhone, and I found one app, which had and gave me some. Code which are for scratch. I just want to ask if they are for HTML. No, we shall. Uh, we shall get to that at the end. All right. So uh, now, so let's uh, let's uh, familiarize with this is the title, like just like I showed you on the side, and it gives. Uh, this is to give a name to your project, and then we have the body. The body, just like in letter writing, this is the meat on your website, where most of the cool stuff will be, as you've seen so many pictures, so many uh, uh, links, which are were appearing, all of them were inside the body, just like we are going to be seeing. If I'm confusing you, then this is the time to shout. Now I uh, see Farid says, uh, could you please guide us to move on from searching Notepad? Uh, all right. So when you search for Notepad, let me let me let's first uh, first uh, first uh, let's first let me first pause here and we we look for Notepad together. So I don't have a Windows computer, but I'm going to just show you how it looks like here. Uh, So let me search, let me share my screen here. Let me start with those who are using um, uh, Apple computers or Apple, Apple devices. So if I... So when you're using an Apple device, you just come to search here and then uh, come to, sorry, click on search, then just type text edit, text edit. When we, 
So we are going to, I think next week we shall start using PyCharm uh, or other text editors. But for today, we are just going to use the best, the best platform. So if you fail to get text edit is when you're going to install a PyCharm or maybe install Visual Studio uh, as we are going to guide you. But for now, for today, we don't need those. So just search for text edit and it's going to come. It's this, it's the first one here, even on your, on your iPad, it's going to come. Even on your phone, when you search for text editor, it's going to come. So when I click on text edit, uh, so it's going to come and then I just click on new document here. Yeah. And then I will have a text editor here. But then if this doesn't work uh, for me, I can also have a code using uh, command. Let me see. So let me first get to how Notepad looks like. Right. So you can be searching for text edit on your on your Apple devices. So if you if you have a if if you have a Windows computer, just share your screen, and then I show you how to get next text edit. And even if you have your phone, let's just do it very fast like this. Anyone who has a Windows computer, share your screen, and then we get for you for your text edit. You click the Windows button on your computer, on the keyboard. Let one person share the screen. Tendo, Benjamin, stop sharing. I saw Paul, Paul is sharing. Uh, sorry, Philip is sharing his screen. Yes, good. Now you click the Windows button. Uh, let me annotate for you for others to see. So clear, you come and click the Windows button here. Then just type the word Notepad here in the search here. Just click here, then search. Type the word. Just click here where this type type here to search. So when you search notepad, yes, it's going to come. It's now here, this one. Then you click it. When you click it, it's going to open. And then you will be good to go. Now let's, uh, if you're done, you get some, let's get someone else. Uh, to So uh, let's get someone else sharing their screen. Okay, Liana, yes, notepad is there. I want someone with a different, yes, that's all you need. Let someone else with a different, if you have a, an iPad or maybe uh, if you have a phone or a Mac, but I've already explained the Mac. So let's get someone else sharing their screen with different devices. Can stop Galiana sharing your screen. OK. 
Okay, you can stop sharing your screen if you are if you have already gotten noted notepad. You want to help people who have not yet gotten notepad. Okay. Uh, those who have not gotten notepad or text edit can share their screen. So if no one is sharing their screen, I'll, I'll assume that we are good to go. And uh, so let's go now get started. So Yes, I see Kyle also has text edit. Very good, very, very good. Now you can, that's good. Uh, now let me share my screen and we get started uh, very quickly. I see no one sharing, so I mean, everyone now has text editor. So I said today we are going to write our first code. I hope we do. And uh, so now let us take a look at some common code in HTML before we start uh, building our HTML documents. So this, uh, what you see, uh, I'll just be explaining one by one. I want you to pay attention. First, stop looking for the, uh, while all looking at your notepads. Let's first concentrate here. We shall come to notepad later. So this is uh, what I was talking about for the bullet, the bullet list that you saw. It defines an unordered bullet list. Unordered, it means it's not numbered. You get it, it doesn't have uh, numbers the way all Roman numerals, it's just a list which has maybe dots or no dots uh, the, before it. So we use the, the unordered list tag together with uh, the, the alias uh, li for tag to create unordered lists. So this li you see is just a list item. It, uh, it uh, indicates that this is a list item. So when you open uh, a, a unordered list, it, it means you've opened the container of lists. But then to have so many lists into so many uh, items in that list, we have to use uh, this tag, which is li for, uh, which signifies uh, the item of a list. This one. This is the item of a list, and this one is the one which opens a list. And then paragraph. All of them have opening and closing tags. So never forget to close. This is like the PLOE of coding. You never have to forget to open and close anything that you, uh, you want to create. So this is used to, uh, to start a paragraph and uh, why is my cursor getting lost? So, and then this is uh, this is for uh, like you have you have in Word. Let me just share my Word here, and uh, I I show you the different types of headings that we may have. Where is my Word? So when I open my Word document, yeah. Uh, when I come to the Word document and I select something here, my first app. And when I select heading two, it is cool. You see the size matters and also the, uh, the font and the size, how bold uh, the numbers, the letters are, 
when I select uh, heading three, it's different. So even we can introduce these headings that you're seeing here in uh, our HTML documents in by using the H. And uh, if you want the first heading, as you saw heading one in Word, you can use H1. Let me share my screen now. And we continue. So we use uh, this H, uh, it has from H1 up to H6. So H1 is like the biggest and the size keeps on reducing until H6. So these are the heading tags. The, the most important heading is tagged with H, uh, uh, the tag H1 and the least important with uh, H6. And I told you the size also matters, the size of the words or your letters is defined by uh, the tags that you use for the headings. So you should use them in the correct hierarchy. The chief here or the chairman is the H1 and then the defense is the H2 then the in charge of women affairs is H3. Then the in charge of food uh, dining prefect is H4 until we reach the duster keeper. The duster keeper in the class is the H6. So the hierarchy has to be hierarchy means that they follow, they respect each other. The most important is the H1. So now with the list item, I already spoke about this. It's used to represent an item in a list, uh, which is LY, and it's also the same way you close, except for some other tags that we are going to, special tags we are going to be looking at, I think, uh, next week. Now, so let's give it a try. Why not? We are going to write, uh, as you can see, this is my, our first program. Let me first explain the first program here before you give it a try. So as we see, we first open. When you open an HTML document, you write whatever you want to write. Then at the end, you close the HTML document. After writing, after opening the tag, the next thing that you're going to do is to start a head. This is the head. is the head of your of your and everything which is important which includes the title are uh, inside the head inside the head tag as i'm going to illustrate the head is closed from here but as you see it's only the title which is inside the head so this title when you see this title here, I, I, I think I'm going to show you when we come to that. Let me first uh, show you when this title is not going to appear in the body. You people are not going to see it on the website, but they can see it on the web tab, on the web on the web page tab, as I showed you using the Makerere uh, Innovation Society page. And I'm going to show you when we create our first web page. Then, after closing, Casa uh, keeps on going, so excuse me. So after closing the, the head, you start the body. Now here is where you write everything you want to appear on the page. You put it inside here and then you close, the body is closed from here. So whatever you want to be uh, people to see on your website has to be inside the body. Why don't we start? Uh, so now let me see in the chat. Uh, uh, someone says, <laughs> teacher, I have a question, please. Uh, teacher, are we writing in Notepad this HTML? Are we supposed to write that? Mm, yeah, now we want to write. So let me, let me lead. 
vector, an example. So because for me, I have PyCharm, let me use PyCharm. <coughs> You will start using PyCharm next week. So let me start sharing my, my screen here. So when I open my PyCharm and then I click on new project, I'll just call it first project. First project. And, uh, and then I start it here. That this doesn't make sense if I'm using Python and you're not using Python. So let me stop. Let's use, let's all use text edit. So let me share my text editor here. Now, this is my text editor. I see some question in the chat. It's kind of a lot. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. That's what you said when we had our first Scratch program. But when you start writing it, it's going to be too short. And some of you, even before the end of the day, will have uh, so many of those blocks. But uh, let me first hear from uh, Benjamin. Teacher Solomon, I, I use a Windows laptop and I use not not. Yes, you use whatever text editor you're using, it's going to be the same thing. And even if you don't have a text editor, don't worry, just understand. And then uh, we shall send you, if, you're, if it has failed on your iPad, you can search on App Store and look for Vim. Uh, there's an app called Vim or just search text editor on your phone or text edit on you will be able to see the free i use the a laptop i use a yeah. computer yeah yeah okay now let's get to hear from uh Tre trevor teacher i was asking you but you already answered while you were all right thanks thanks how about galiana teacher you have stopped sharing yes Really? No, 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 the, the work. Oh, you don't have to see, you have to just see what I'm seeing here. So if you're seeing text editor here, then you're, you're good to go. She did Are, you seeing a black screen? Are you seeing a black screen shared? Yes. Yes, yes. Then have you gotten a text editor already? Nice. Let's get to hear from Kyla. Teacher, what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> yes, Kyla. Oh, you just forgot. Excuse me, teacher. I just wanted to say my brother doesn't have text edit, but we found a way. Since you said Vim, everything is okay. All right. All nice. right. How about Ronel? I have a question and it's when on text edit, how do you, you f will you find your project by going to the cloud in text edit and where will the code go? Because I've done a project in text edit but I've not seen the code show. Where will it show? No, we haven't yet written any project, but you're only asking where it goes. So you'll be patient. Now let's uh, let me hear the last. Uh, let me see. Farid says not hard. It's just a plain white. Uh, very good. Thank you very much, Farid. Uh, now let's start. So here, when you open your text editor, you just have to start over with the with the code. As we said, you start with that. Uh, greater than sign and then put HTML here. And then close with the that slash. 
and then HTML, and that's the closing tag. So then you come back here and you just enter such that you can now write some stuff in between here. Let everyone start by doing that. And if you're done, you let me know in the chat. If you have opened and closed, So you can, uh, let me let me just show you, then I go back, I go to Py, why I want to use PyCharm because the word here appearing uh, so small and I will need to zoom in, I think. Let me see if I can zoom in even this, but they have to disappear, okay. Okay, now makes sense if I can zoom in. <laughs> so let everyone just have, this and if you have that then you let me know so kyla is done very good uh, so if you're done having this html we say that, that after this is like the when green flag is clicked so for it it has the opening and then the stopping at this side which uh, which ends that so let's wait for one or two people to get done then we we can proceed with our work today. Let's see. So what are we going to make? And see if you can make your own. Very good, Farid is done, Meliana is done, very good. Barnabas is done, Ronel is done. Uh, nice, 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 Trevor is done. So then the next thing is to just enter, and now write the head. You put the head, open the tag for the head. Kaina is done, very good then also close if you don't want to forget you first write uh, open and close then you put space in between here and put whatever you want to so then i put head here and then close then i just enter and this one goes to the next line then i have space to write what i want to appear in the head so when you get done with this you also let me know When you get used to this, it's going to be very, very simple. Like you've been doing scratch and you have so many blocks. Very good, I see so many patterns. Then now we enter the title. We want to make the title, let it be your project name. Actually, which, whichever project you want to work on or you have worked on, let it be, uh, you're going to make a website for it. So if I start this for the title, the spelling matters here. If you fail the spelling, the program will never work. If you miss out anything, it will never work. So you have to be careful with the spelling as well. So title, then I close the title here. And then inside my title, I can just say, uh, maybe, let me, let me call it my first class. Or you can give it your project uh, name. That's my title, you see? Now my title is closed. So anything be outside this is not a title. Title is has been closed, yeah. And just like we said, we have like three uh, sections. Uh, we have the head, the body, and then the closing. So now we moving on from uh, the head, we shall move on to the body if you're done. So we come down here and now we open the body. And then I close my body here. Very simple, it's just simple English here. Then now whatever is going to be, let me even bring this up. So whatever I want to put on my website is going to, whatever I want people to see on my website is going to appear under body. 
Iya. So what do you want to have under your body? You want to have a uh, the first heading, of course. And I told you that the chief, uh, you have to put the chief as the first, which, which is the H1. And uh, what's the heading? So I can say uh, my H1 yeah, to be, uh, let me see, H1. Then inside my H1, I'm going to see to say uh, number. Okay. Ignite. Ignite participants. Participants rock. So when someone is done with their head, you can now use any of the headings that we told you, but the first one is always that one. Then after saying Ignite Passive Participants Rock, then I'm going to put something here, some paragraph. So how to start a paragraph? I said you just use a P for paragraph like that. P signifies paragraph. And throughout this adventure, we shall be learning what each letter stands for, what each phrase or character stands for. In, uh, so and in my paragraph, I'm just going to say so many of them, uh, them have already created, amazing. And we stop this. Uh, amazing projects and innovations for people. So that can be my first paragraph. You can have so many paragraphs. If you want to put another paragraph, let me just uh, zoom back or zoom out. Then if I want another paragraph, I can put it here and I say paragraph, then I close it here. Then I say inside here, I can say uh, they even tried to challenge their teacher by making projects even bigger than. Admin. So this is my second paragraph. I can put a full stop in the paragraph sentence there. You can have so many paragraphs. This is just to show you how to put paragraphs on your on your website. So let's start. Let's have only one heading and then uh, one paragraph. And then let me. If you're done, you let me know. You don't want to do a lot of stuff today. But then we shall do a paragraph, then we start a list as we have on our slides here. And, uh, and then we shall call it a day. We shall learn how to add pictures, videos, how to put, uh, you can put your links to your YouTube channels, you can put uh, anything on the website anything you've ever seen in life you can put people to access pdfs on the website you can do anything using html as we shall look we shall be learning that all in this week uh, oh sorry through this uh this this days of this program uh, so just try out try out familiarizing let's just use the heading uh, and the paragraph only for now. now. Let's not use this. Let's only use this. You can make so many paragraphs. You can try making another heading, maybe H2 here, and then OH3. I told you they go from H1 to H6. Uh, so someone is asking what's the name of the, we said if you don't see text edit, it's called text edit. Edit Benjamin. 
If you can't see it, then look for Vim or just search for text editor on your from your Play Store and you'll see it. Now, if you're done with this, even before we proceed, let's first, now when you finish, let me share the entire screen and you see drama here. Uh, but this is my entire screen. After editing, whatever you've edited, even this can be displayed on a web, a web browser. So let me just come, you come to file, now, Ronel, you have to be attentive because uh, this is how you save. You click on uh, file, then click on save, uh, on save. And then when this save as comes in, you just say, this is, uh, I'm going to call it uh, program one, program. Where to call it program.html. You have to have that dot html. If you don't have it, it's not going to open. So you have program, whatever your name is, don't call you. You've always have had uh, different pro scratch project names. So don't use my my pro project name because this is a new. You can also have your own your uh, your own names. So mine I've called it program.html. That dot html is what will show uh, the browser that this is an HTML document. So after that, then you choose where you want. Me, I want mine to be in downloads. So let me, yeah, let it be, uh, should I put on my desktop, it's crowded. Let it be in downloads. Then I click on save. Uh, so I come here to file format and I can say, if you don't have, then you just don't have to. If some Windows phones don't show you to change the, uh, the file format, so you don't have to, as long as you put the HTML here. So me, I'm just going to say, it's a web page here. And then I will save. So after saving, I will come to my I come here and I open. Let me first close PyCharm. It's taking my power. I come here and then I open. Go to my do downloads here. And then under my downloads, the documents. So let me look for the recent one here. Let me just say by date added. And program, program is here. So when I right click on program, I want to open with any browser. If you have Google Chrome, click open with Google Chrome. If you have a Safari, click open with Safari. So let me open with Google Chrome because that's what everyone has. So then you see here it's not uh, it's not working because I didn't uh, put it as an HTML document. Let me see what error would have been there. Let me come back and save it. But if you as has the HTML, then you you can share your screen and show us. Let me try to save again. Uh, let me see in the chat as I'm also checking out here. Yes, we are using Notepad. <laughs> Mine also work Tendo. Tendo, you want to share your screen and we see your browser. So if you're using Notepad, it's okay. It depends on the browser that you, you're using. Let's give a chance to anyone who has finished. 
Yes, I said you can use Notepad. Me, I don't have a Windows computer. That's why I'm using. Uh, that's why I'm using this. So you can use Notepad, and then you, when you're done, you can let me know and share the screen. Now there are formats. Uh, okay, uh, I see Kyla. Kyla, now I want you to save. Then you go to to the where the document is and open it using a browser. Someone is again asking how to. Okay, I was explaining that. Okay, so now let me, please may I share? You can share your screen. That's why I stopped mine. Whoever wants to share, you can. Now for you, what have you done? We are writing other things, you're writing other things. Ronel, what have you, what are you doing? I actually just said, ignore rich text commands and this is what happened. Can I screen share my things? I'm also using Netpad. Okay, let's uh, say this okay. share after Ronel. I'll come to collect that. Okay, chair. This is our uh, Okay, you click on file. File. File, then save as. Save as. <laughs> then uh, put the name there. Are you muted? Name. Your name. Shall we can't hear you. Just put in a name. Why do you call it? You don't know how to name your project. For now, don't put space. Just put, don't put space for now. Dot then? HTML dot or full stop html then press uh go to where you want to save it if on the desktop click on desktop if you want on download you go then now you say save okay now you go to your desktop okay sure and close close you, you keep sharing your screen Benjamin, you can first stop sharing your screen, then we get we shall yeah. call you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I want to share. Uh, I'm first fixing something. Okay, now when you're still, as you're still uh, 
fixing that. Some of you first be looking at your code. I saw Benjamin, your code doesn't have a closing HTML uh, tags. So when we start using PyCharm next week, after creating the PyCharm project, you just come where the project name is, then right click and put uh, here to new, then come and select HTML if you're not doing Python. So we are going to be using HTML. You just click on HTML5 and then you give it a name. Yeah, which can be uh, simple. Let me just call this uh, simple. And then it's an HTML document, so I'll just have it like that. And basically, they will always make for you uh, this start. We haven't yet uh, come to putting the doc uh, type and also uh, this. So for now, let me just uh, erase it. And then I just want to put what we had here, what everyone had here. And then I show you. So here I say the first thing is to put, to start HTML and then to close it. And then I come and have the body. We know so the, the head. Then I also close the head. Then I have my title here. Uh, the title can be uh, maybe my first my first program. And then after the title, I come here to have a, a body. And then you have to follow the right order. If you just make your own uh, blocks of code as if it's scratch, then you're not going to, to have a website running today. Then under my board, I said I have my first heading here. Then inside my heading, I'm going to say Ignite Fellows. And then I come and I just start a paragraph here using P. And uh, inside my paragraph, let me just copy some a long text here. Uh, this is swimming is my favorite. Oh, oh God, <laughs> what oh, this? So this is my, is going to be my, my paragraph. Then you can have other things here, but after that, when I want to test out this, I hope I'm sharing the entire screen. Let me share the entire screen and I show you. So after writing this code, uh, on, in PyCharm, you, the browsers will also always come here. Instead of you going again to where I saved the file, you just click on the browser. Then this is what I put. The, you see the tags are not seen. The tags are not supposed to appear on the website. So this is what, as you can see, this Ignite Fellows, is what you're seeing uh, here as my heading, but whatever is in the head here, the title is not seen on the website, but it is seen up here where there is title, as I told you, where there's a tab here, but it will, people will not see it on the screen as you're seeing here. So if I come here inside the body still, and I add, let me just copy this and I add another, just go to the next line. Then I add another paragraph using P. Then I can say Galiana and uh, Bavirie are sleeping. So when I come here after editing this, this is going to come here, this is a second paragraph. That's how you can come up with so many paragraphs. Now, if I wanted, so let's, this is what I wanted from you. Don't go to lists for now. After this, then you can let me know, let me maximize my screen, yeah. Uh, so in the chat, let me first read in the chat, I see, <laughs> Uh, how do we do that? Okay, I, I know doc type <laughs> very good. So we shall start doc type next week. That's how we do professional HTML. 
Teacher, can I share my screen, Galiana? Are we supposed to write that? Of course, I think it's the same. Yeah, teacher, can I share my screen? All right, so you have yes. been my website. Teacher Solomon. Yes, sir. Please. Um, is it okay if I can share my screen and I show you what happens when I want to save it? Teacher, all right, all right. All right. I think now everyone, yeah, yeah, whoever is ready to share, you can share the screen. Okay, Benjamin has shared first, so. Okay, now this is the time for sharing. Let me, let me stop sharing and give you a chance to share. It's already coming to nine, so. We have to summarize the rest of the things we shall learn them next week. But keep practicing what we've learned today. Don't just keep the notepads and polish them and wake them up on Monday. Yeah. So Benjamin, your screen is taking off. Can we maybe? Deja Solomon, that is what happened. Let's see, you just mean, just mean I. Data Solomon, the file name says it is not valid. Yes, not valid because you didn't put .html and you, there's no, something wrong with your code. So maybe what I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'm not seeing your screen. This I'm going to share my screen again. You look at the code, at my code, and you ask what you didn't understand. Let me give a chance to Nakato, then I get to, to Trevor. Oh, sorry, I get to Farid, then to Trevor. So Nakato, if you want, then the time is yours. If you're not ready, we go to Farid. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay, so how do you feel you have your first, my first class, Ignite participants, Rogue, so, so you can add so many paragraphs, try to add so many paragraphs. We shall come to say uh, to changing the color uh, using CSS next week. So for now, just have that color, use the headings and use the uh, use. Let's give a chance to Farid. You have refused to share your screen. So to stop you, uh -huh. wow, <laughs> this is, <laughs> let's have uh, Farid, sorry. I was still seeing uh, Nakato's. Mm -mm. So Farid has trial version one. This will be the first time and a new start, the age of the kids, very good going through the process. I like the way you have added many paragraphs. Don't always forget to put full stops when ending your paragraphs. So you can try out so many other features as we shall, we shall see. So let's give a chance to uh, to Trevor. Trevor Oyet, please. You can share your screen. I was still working on mine.
All right, it's okay. Let's get to Kyla. Excuse me, teacher Solomon. I just wanted to ask if, if during the weekends and if we have time to make another website project, is it okay if we can do it and the next time we are doing the website project, we can show you? Yeah, yeah, of course, that's what I want. You can do something which we even didn't learn and you come and show us. Okay, I was- nice. That's uh, nice. I was also not sure about the the website project you are that you are copying from. I can share if those were the enough paragraphs. Oh, I missed something because in between you disconnected. Is my share? No, you can't share. Thank you. Is this the is this the is this all that you are showing us to type? No, uh, first of all, I told you the rules. You go back to your code. The rules that uh, exist in no, if you want to zoom, just click on uh, view. You can click on view then. Now you first click on, uh, you first uh, maximize here, then you'll just, uh, go. then now, yes, now click on view, then zoom in. Okay, now uh, you realize that, uh, not there. There is you mute. There is Nakato, you mute until I tell you to unmute. Teacher Solomon. The rest you mute until I give you a chance to mute. You don't have to just uh, talk while uh, your friends are, are talking. It's now time for Kyla. We shall give you a chance. Now, so Kyla, when you go to um let me see you see your paragraph first of all i realize you you have it well with the head it has a closing and then the op the uh the opening and the closing tag but then the paragraph has the opening but it doesn't have the closing tag even this second paragraph has opening tag, but it doesn't have closing tag, so it won't work. But the title is okay. Uh, the opening HTML and closing is okay. The body is closed here and it's opened here. Is that's very good. And the head is also closed here. And the rest are okay. But I've never forget to close any tag. So after that, you can. I've uh, already. You can now save. The close the the closing. <laughs> the closing paragraph tags, is that where they're supposed to go? Yes, for each paragraph, it uh, you have like, you can go to the next line and I show you, click enter. Mm. You go to the next line, you just click enter on your keyboard and then you start I, I, another tag. So you start another paragraph there. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes, then you 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 first close, first close. You always have to first open and close before writing because you may forget. So put the closing tag. Good. Then go in the middle and now write whatever you want to be in the paragraph. Yes. That's how best you can apply. Then you can uh, you can now save that and uh, try out and see how it appears in your browser. The best way is 
to click save as. Okay, you go where. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if you have save as. Uh, you don't have save as. Okay, since you already, you click on rename. Click on rename and I see what name you have. Okay, put, Kai, don't put Kyla's project, just put kyla.html. Where do you see Kyla's project highlighted? Just click inside that, just click inside here and then start typing. Nice. You go back to file and rename. Go back to file, then you rename. I will just have to go because the, um, the bar for the Zoom is blocking it, so I can stop sharing. Just now, try. Okay. All right, all right. You can stop sharing, then you will uh, change it. It has to be dot .html. Any okay. HTML. Any HTML file has to be the name, for example, name dot .html. Now, let me give a chance, sorry. Uh, It has to be like that name.html. So let's give a chance to Mina and Einstein. I was asking, um, how were you able to 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 turn your your code okay into a website and the information was taken into a website? How? You share you, I told you to share your whole screen and okay. I show you how to do that. Just don't share the browser, just share the entire screen. Okay, if you're not ready, then we shall move on to, okay, okay. So after saving, where did you, I said you name it, uh, you have to put the dot .html. It's there, just click on it. Then save, replace. Now you go to the desktop. You first close, minimize, minimize it, minimize it. Then look for where it is. It's here. <laughs> right click it. Then choose open with so that's that's it how it appears on the web browser are you now okay so let's give a chance to Ronel. Please, my screen share. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is okay. what I've done. Try does not have the body. Okay. It, see what I just write L, it writes double L. See, no, no, no. you see, write something. Up. It's you because be you didn't. Yes, this is me. Oh. Wait. Who is talking? 
I'll click on the, I want you to right click on your program. Your program. Uh, the yes, file, the right. program file. I'm just saying, showing them my projects here. Yeah, I've done. You have to type slowly. Make sure you understand what you're doing. Yes, he's trying to copy what I'm doing. But well, when he... in cups. No, it's not in cups. It is. The, I'm typing his words. Daddy it doesn't measure if it's cups or not. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, you you can just keep it uh, in short case, but uh, is this okay? Putting the, the content is when you can use the the lower or the upper case. Now, after this, I see you have uh, your your program is fine. It has a head and it has a body. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. So I want you to try it out in the browser. So you save it as a dot HTML file. Uh, click on us. Click on file and then save. Rename. Just rename. rename. Click on rename. rename. Okay, save as. Save as. So I think you put. You added the other exception. But I want you to rename it from, I see that other file extension. But first go to the folder where the file has been saved and we see if it can open. Oh, Ronel stopped sharing. Have, have you now fixed, uh, if you can try it out, uh, you just go to the folder, then right click on the folder, or long, if you're using a phone or a mobile device, you long press, then you click on open with. You don't just click on open, you use the open with, and then you select any browser that you have on your device. Now, so try to right click, then open with Google Chrome. Open with Chrome. Now I don't know where your Chrome is, but it should be appearing. I wish you shared the whole screen. First minimize that, minimize. You don't have to close, minimize use that that uh, dash, which is like a small dotted line. So uh, just uh, click, first click on this here. Uh, oh, let me annotate my screen. Okay, so I think you you will have to open it. Uh, you didn't share your whole screen, that's why you it's opening in another uh, in another in the text editor, but, but we are able not able to see that. But then you will have to put. I told you to name it as a .dot html. Let me let me just share my screen again and I show you who are all those who are using text edit. There's something maybe you missed out. So let me share my, my editor here again and I show you. Oh, it's my text edit. So under my text edit here, the writing whatever I've written, uh, I am going to come to file and then I save I come to save. If it's already saved, then I'm going to rename it. File, then rename. And then where there is now here, I'm just going to 
command say now dot html and then when i go let me just uh, share every share the entire screen so when i go to my downloads now uh my now will now be appearing as an html document here and now i can open it in the browser and it displays as a website so it has to be as a dot html when you're saving you have to save as dot html and that's what you saw even when i was doing in my pycharm here when i was creating the file name i mean sure it's my pycharm uh pycharm is here i named it dot html as you can see if i annotate here it has to be dot html as you can see that's the file name if it's try and uh let me just try to to show, to show you how to start over with that. So when I start another, let me start another program here. Yeah? And when I start another program to name it, it's now untitled. So when I want to name it, I come to file then save and then i call it maybe so after putting trial i come here where there's file format some people yeah by c so this is file file format and choose this the file format so you click on web page it's in my downloads here so it now it's now going to be an HTML document. And now <clears throat> let me give a chance to Trevor. I see your hand is up, then I see Farid. I wanted to know what was wrong with mine because it isn't. Okay, so um, uh, it is an I don't know who is having that background. Okay, so HTML yeah, is that it. Let me try to see. What and the I don't like the message, but the message was being by, by the noise in the background. So this here, you open the HTML, which is good, and then you closed your HTML. Then you opened the head, and then you closed the head, which is good. But I told you the spelling matters. What is the spelling of title? You're closing it well, but here you're saying TT. So then when you come this body, uh, you're saying H A, then the paragraph is okay. All the unlisted, the unordered list of the unlisted and also the list item tags, and then just have what we have for today. But if you can use them, then it's okay because I don't see your closing tag for the unlisted list. Now, I'll just take them down, file, and then save as. And then uh, 
just put in there, then don't forget to put dot HTML. Put the I said put the name you run first listen to what they are telling you to do. Click on file, just do what I'm telling you. Don't do your own stuff. File, save as. Then just put the word project as the name. Delete that backspace where this file name, then put just project one with no space. dot ht full stop html yeah so every program has to have the name your unique name then dot html then you click on save and now you go to where you saved it you didn't specify that, but if you don't see it in the downloads, go to the documents. You're going to be able to see it. So you can share the whole screen if you want, and then I guide you, or you can do it on your own. But when you open it, it will it will now work well, well because it's uh, an HTML document. So uh, I'm going to go to get to the next person who is, uh, I see Kyla's hand is still up. So when you're done, you stop sharing your screen, Trevor. Okay. You now go to where the document is. It can be in documents or it can be in downloads, depending on where you saved. If you saved on the desktop, it will appear there. If you can share your whole screen, then I'll be able to locate for you. But otherwise, let's get to hear from Ronel. I see your hand is up. Uh, please my please okay, my nice screen size. share oh, yes you can Okay. I'm having it looks like I've not done the right thing here. Yeah, of course you've not because you added. I think that was uh, added by your when you were saving. But, uh, let, let's go to your text editor and we see. you share your text editor. This is all I did. All I did. All I did. Not seeing. I'm still seeing. Just share the whole screen and we see. I'm still. Oh, seeing sorry, sorry, story. sorry. I need to just uh stop share screen share. Uh, share. Okay, this is what I did. Uh huh. Now you. That should work. Why is it bringing other stuff? So you go to the file. You go and show me where the file is. Same. Then right click on the file and open it. It doesn't look like I've done anything wrong. Yeah, you've not done anything wrong, but the way you open it maybe is what is being up. Uh, Those are all, uh, we shall get to the, to the algorithms of other, of other editors. If you use some other different take, uh, file extensions, they can bring out that. But the mm -hmm. code is fine. So when you just go to the file and right click open, it will open fine. File. You. You. you can open using Chrome you. or. Open. Yes, mommy, mom. 
No, I want you to go to where did you save it? Did you save it to the in which folder did you save your file? Okay, if you're done, you can stop sharing your screen. Because I thought you were going to end the yeah, the whole screen. I see you doing nothing. How about uh, Philip? Philip, uh, I see you're quiet. Is everything fine? Philip, uh, we have uh, Tendo, Michael, Gabriela, those people are sleeping. We have uh, people who have not spoken. Josiah, Alex, and Maria, are you just watching? TV or you are doing something there? Do you want to share your screen and we see what you have? Because now we are ending this class in the next three minutes. Uh, Philip says, Josiah, teacher, we are done. Yes, if you are done, we want to see what you've done. Philip, uh, we want to see what you've done. Try me on. Yeah? These are people who are sleeping. They have just turned on Zoom to show us they are available, but they are asleep. Now, uh, you can stop sharing your screen, Ronel. Let's let's get to, to someone else. Let's give a chance to someone else. Gabriela has shared, okay. Uh, okay. I see index dot you have, but uh, we didn't, we are not doing the uh, doc type. I just wanted you to type what we were typing. So you use this, if you use some softwares, I think they will always type that for you. But uh, we wanted you to just do it from scratch. Let's give a chance to, okay. Uh, Josiah, class, my first class, the HTML. You don't have to leave space between the, when you're renaming, it does not to have a space. So you can do file, Click on file and then save us. Okay, who is share, who is sharing their screen? Okay, we have uh, uh this is Phil. Okay, Philip, you first wait uh, Josiah and uh, we are still looking at Josiah and Maria's work, then we shall give you a chance. Okay, so Josiah, Alex, and Maria, they have how I spent it. We learned how to do scratch and make projects. That's very good body. That's good. So let me see. Yeah, and even your, your title, I can see the title of your page is here, my first, my first class, as you can see my first class then this is your heading then this is your first paragraph so this is good you can now stop sharing i thought you were asleep it seems you're very much awake now let's give a chance to philip after philip the last person is mpaji trami and then we call it a day I'm also dozing, as you can see. If you if you see, you should see my eyes squeezing and pausing for a while. So I see now. Uh, you you didn't save. You go to the text editor. Just close your your browser and share the text editor, and I show you how to save. I think you have a good you have a good. Uh, a good document, but the way you saved is why your project is not running. So share the screen of your text editor. And I show you, you have to save using the dot. You put the name, then dot. I even shared it in the chat. Name, that, then dot HTML while saving. You can share your screen.
Now go to file, save as. Click on save as, and then put, uh, just put stress. If you want stress pro, don't put any space between them for now. Don't put any space, just type your word with no space, then dot .html. dot html then save <sighs> sorry uh now you can go and to the folder and right click and open and we see if you had just shared your whole screen, it would be easier for you to, to switch. And uh, so ready to come after. Anne is going to come after. So Philip, are you now? Let me see where that is, where you, you saved it in the, on the desktop. Go to desktop, click on desktop. Okay, that's where it is. Then click on stress, this one, which has even the one. You, you put it in under PCM. Me, I was able to see, but you who saved, you don't even know where you saved. It was in PCM one. Open, just double click and open it. Oh, okay. Then it's this one which has HTML. So just double click this. So it's going to open because it's already an HTML document. Sorry, let me first remove all. Then I show you. It's this one which has a browser icon which will open the rest are not are just text this one's done which is an html document because you put dot html so you double click on that one and it's now going to open all right click and open open it Are you get facing any challenges opening it? Okay. Now let's try me. Are you ready? Try me, try me on. Are you awake or you're asleep? You can share your screen and show us what you've made. Teacher, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Just right click and open the document and see open with click on open with I have bus I said right click and open with uh, you wait I have Google Chrome so if it's not opening then there's something wrong with your with your code or the way you saved your work. Now let me see, um, open HTML, then you open the head. You didn't close the head. Where, where are you closing the head from? The title has to be inside the head. So you can't, uh, 
you have to close the head after the title after the title tags nice Okay, now save that, save that and open and receive. Uh, uh, this is what let me see which other, which other error. So you open head. So you also check your spelling, uh, your spelling errors. And then uh, my, this is, so try to click save us. Save us. Then click here where there is text, save a type, where there is type here. Wait. Uh, click on type here and we see. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So projects.html, uh, I hope there's no, so you try, that should work. Uh, first put all all types click on on all, all types and we see on all files then save replace Okay, now something has to be wrong with your code. How you let me see your HTML on uh, your body. Just keep keep it open, then you uh, we shall fix it. Or you will try to see HTML. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay, so there's something maybe yet to let me see. Okay, the rest you may be uh because it's coming to it's coming to 10. So you will be able to just follow the recorded video and see which errors you may have made. I see. Uh, ignite H1, H2, H2. And then some, uh, if we start using PyCharm or maybe other text editors uh, like VS Code, which are advanced, they will be able to correct you that the, the error is on this line such that you can be able to fix it very quickly. So um, let me see, uh, that's all. So let me just give a chance to anyone who wants to ask the last question, then we stop this discussion. If you want to ask a question, just uh, unmute and ask. Teacher Solomon. Yes. I, my when I have opened my document, it only shows the title. Can I share my screen? Yeah, you can share and we see.
That is what happens when, when I, I share. share. But for me, I can't see your screen. I think you're having challenges sharing your screen. That's why we can't we can't fix uh, whatever. I, but as we can't see your shared screen. But anyway, you will as well just I'm going to share this recorded video after the class, then you'll be able to follow through and see which uh, which errors you may have made as we await for the next. I will also share the the PowerPoint such that you can be able to see some of the other the other the other tags that you can use throughout the week. Teacher, uh, teacher. Nail is not tired at all. Teacher. You can continue doing, yes? When I open mine, it just gives me a white blank screen. Yeah, because you didn't use your tag, your tags very well and you don't have maybe the paragraphs. But anyway, we shall do, we shall see, uh, today was just a, uh, the day to introduce ourselves to the first first principles, which are, uh, let me just have a recap, and then we we shall learn more and build more confidence next week when we meet on Monday. So we have understood uh, how to use the. HTML opening, uh, how to, uh, to open using HTML and then to end. Then we learned how to use the head tags, how to use the title tags, the body tags. We learned how, uh, how to use the uh, unordered list, but we shall use it next week. The paragraph, we have used it, we have used the heading and we haven't used the list item. So we shall use it also next week. So we built our first program. Uh, I was happy to see uh, most of you having your programs uh, running in the browser. And then uh, this is how it was appearing on Notepad. It was a little bit of an, uh, an organ disorganized characters, but on the website, they were on the browser, they were appearing as a normal web page. Then the first program, this is how it appeared. Uh, we had a title. A title here and uh, a title here. Then we had the heading one here. Then our paragraph, uh, paragraphs okay. were here. So we noticed that the tags are going; they are gone when we come to the browser, and that's because the tags tell the browser how to display the files, but not to show themselves. The tags don't show on the browser, but they just tell the browser what to show. And that's all that we did today. So when we meet again next week. Uh, let me just share a little bit about what we are going to learn next week. So you can do some homework as well. You know, you can also try to find out more uh, about what we've learned or maybe something you can, we haven't learned. So let me just share my, the next slide that we shall look at next week uh, is lesson two. We were supposed to do two lessons today, but because we had a lot of issues, we had to, we did only one one lesson. So next week we are going to do a recap of HTML introduction, and we learn more about uh, HTML, and we build now a better web page. So some of the things we have to look out for is uh, document creation, what the users will see, and then the tags, what how they will see them, and. Uh, so much of this, we shall look at it next week. And uh, we have just a recap of what we've done today as you, you have seen. And then I want you to do some, uh, to know, go knowing that uh, you know, how do web browsers interact with HTML? Uh, browsers are, pr so, are too proud. They just do not and cannot read the content directly from the place where it is stored. So to settle this conflict, web servers are used and we shall look at web servers next week and how they interact. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today.
and uh, for those who are tomorrow oh. i'm having uh we are having a competition uh you can join us at uh at 4 30 we have the finals for the finalists i wish you good luck if you have any question if you have something you want to share you can send me a whatsapp or you send me an email and i'll be able to support otherwise have a good night for now and Did nice you? week Did you? yes <laughs> um does vim have an example of a ugandan under it does what does it have a, an example like of a ugandan children what do you mean like well, when you get apps under age is how there's there something we show how it works is that how also vim is like there's an example of ugandan children no 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 i think if you're failing then we shall do that on monday uh we shall just share with you other text editors how uh, i'll maybe get a phone on that day and share with you some other text editors depending on your phone but you can also search on google text editors for your particular phone and you will see them or you can just type on google html text editor for iphone or for maybe a uh, techno phone and then you will see what to install if you fail then i'll, I'll guide you on monday 